Hey guys, this is the Wheelchair Gamer. This is my first video for TNCI, the Nerd Cave Inc. An awesome community of content creators and gamers. Today's video is going to be starting off the intro for what I'd like to call How to Twitch. And no, I'm not telling you how to twitch your body, no. We're talking about twitch.tv. I broke down the top five things that I think that every everybody should know before they start streaming. One is the purpose for the stream. What is it that you are hoping to achieve by streaming? What is it that, what is the reason why you want to do this? Is it because you want to try something different? Is it because you just love playing games and you want to share it with other people? Maybe meet some other gamers along the way? Is it that you want to make money? Is it that you just enjoy making content and you want to get into a live format? I would definitely say if your purpose is just to make money, you are in this for the wrong reasons. And... You should reevaluate that because you must enjoy something that you're doing to make money or it just doesn't work usually. I mean, some people can do that. I'm not one of those people and frankly, it, it really doesn't pay that quick. It takes a while. It takes a lot of hard work and dedication. So figure out what's your purpose for streaming. Number two, what type of streamer are you going to be? Do you want to be a variety streamer? Do you want to be in real life streamer? Meaning you show what you're doing in real life. Do you want to be a music streamer? Do you want to be a creative streamer? Do you want to be a competitive streamer? What is it that you want to do? Figure that out because that's going to kind of depend on the type of community that you're sort of niching yourself into being. Third, equipment and software. So at bare bones, you'll need at least a console to stream on. The only consoles that you can currently stream on are the Xbox One and the PS4. The PS4 tends to be a little bit better because of the PlayStation Live feature, which we'll go over that later in another video about how all that works with the different stuff. Or if you have a computer, you need a webcam and you need a mic, sort of like how I have here, and headphones, of course. That uh, would be a good idea. But at a bare minimum, you need a camera, you need a mic, and then you need some software like OBS, which we will go over that in a another video as well. This leads us into number four. Be consistent. Have a schedule from the get-go. If you have a schedule, you're going to make your life a lot easier. Because if you're all over the place and people don't know when you're streaming, it's going to be a little chaotic and they're just not going to know when to watch you. So have a schedule. It's a good idea. Because then people know when they can see you. Because being unorganized is never a good thing. You want to look like you're organized in your profession. Number five. Networking and community, which is a social networking site. I know some of you are probably like mind blown by that, but no, it is it is a social networking site at its heart. What it's selling in terms of networking, unlike Facebook with the posting on the wall, what it's selling is its ability to be able to stream video games and talk to an audience, get to meet other gamers. Like you get to meet other gamers and you get to play with other people as a result of streaming. So that's kind of the cool part. Don't just expect people to come to your stream and not visit anybody else. Go visit other streamers because it's also market research if you think about it. You're trying to figure out how to market your brand and maybe you'll get some ideas on what they do, how they interact with the audience, how they go about doing things, you know. That's why you network. You get to meet cool people. You get to do projects like I'm doing here, like doing stuff for TNCI, which is awesome. Which I love the fact that I was able to meet them. I met them because of streaming. Which is awesome. And build a community. Build a community around your channel. Get out of yourself. Help people. Because what is a community about? A community in the sense of like a neighborhood. People that grow and thrive together. And that's the same thing on Twitch. You want to build a community that grows and thrives together. You'll end up meeting some people. You'll end up getting to know these people's lives. You'll, you'll know about the fact that maybe their dog just died or something like that. You know, try to actually show some interest in your audience. That is so super important because not only just for the purpose of of that it, it's it's good to do that. It, it's good to be able to connect to people in a real way, not just you playing a video game and streaming it. I've made some real human connections here, guys, and I don't think I, I think that's amazing. I think that's amazing. Some of the awesome connections that I've been able to make. And some of the greatest friends that I, I will ever have, I've met through Twitch streaming. I do have a little bit of homework for you. So in the comments below, guys, I want you to tell me what is your reason for streaming and what type of streamer are you? I just want to know. And if there's any tips or tricks that you want to throw in there to maybe give some other people 
I would love for the conversation to continue below, guys. So please remember, guys, to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'd really love it if you would, and so would TNCI, because we want to know what's going on with you guys. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.